Hi guys, I'm Katie. You know who I am. <laughs> <laughs> We're Jared and Katie Hess with Tate and Bugs, where we have been showing you guys our fixed wrapper journey for the last eight months. And if you're new to our channel, you can go ahead and go to our Putting Down Roots playlist so that you can see exactly how far we've come. Click on that first video. I'll link the playlist right now. Ooh, Bam! Fancy. Click here. <laughs> So go ahead and click on that so you can see how far we've come and if you guys enjoy this video And if you like what you see go ahead and click subscribe as well as that little notification bell so that you guys can be sure to not miss a thing This week we are so excited to be back to work on our house We've been kind of a little standstill financially, but we were able to get a little bit of extra money so that we can continue work on our house so we're working in Toby and Carter's room and if you don't know who Toby is. Hi, I'm Toby. And this is Carter. So we are putting in closets. We are going to put in trim around the windows and closets and door today. And then? His room will be Woo! done. So follow along. Uh, if you don't know how to do trim or closets. We don't either. It's gonna be sweet. Enjoy this video, guys. This week we're back at Lowe's again, but this time in the closet section. Oh boy. So we planned it all out last night, took screenshots of what Lowe's had in stock, and we're like, we're gonna come here, get it, and go. We come here, 4th of July savings are going Ooh. on, and they have what, what else, what, then what we need is an actual kit for closet organization. So we're comparing prices, and buying it the other way would be like 200 bucks, we're saving like $60 if we get this one. So I'm still trying to decide which one we need for Toby's closet, Toby and Carter's closet, but we're gonna save some money. Yeah, yeah. We decided against the shelving where it just screws into the wall because for two little boys' rooms, their closet's gonna be changing all the time. And so we decided to go with Rubbermaid's Fast Track Closet because you can put the tracks up the back and adjust it and change it all the time. Good morning! It's another happy little Saturday and we are home working again! Hi! Check it out, folks! We got a new, to us, Bosch table saw. I'm stoked. It... I can't wait to try it out. I am stoked, and this thing works like a charm. I'm excited. It's just in time for trim. Lovely. That's beautiful, bud. Thank you. Why would we be washing a tractor right now? And by we, I mean Jared. <laughs> I'm just rinsing it off, getting it nice and clean. Someone is coming to look at the tractor to possibly buy it, so I'm just giving her a good rinse off. We used renovation money to buy this tractor. We used the tractor, we mowed our fields, but for now we decided it's okay to get rid of the tractor and maybe later we could buy another one if we need one, but for now, we're gonna try to sell it, so hopefully it sells and we have a little more renovation money. When we bought the tractor, we needed something to mow our fields, 
because we had previously bought a quad and the DR trimmer and it didn't work and we were having issues. And so then we saw the tractor and we we're like, of course we need a tractor on this property. And so we were able to pay cash for it and thought it was going to be the investment of a lifetime. But the more we talk about our finances and the more we listen to Dave Ramsey, the more we realize that it's kind of, I mean, it's really nice and it's really helpful, but it's kind of just a really expensive thing to have in case we need it. Cause Jared got on the quad and honestly loves mowing the fields with the quad and DR trimmer more than he likes mowing with the tractor. And so the only extra benefit that the tractor has is that it's got a bucket and you can put attachments on it. Then we're like, man, that's a lot of money to just have into something in case we need to use the bucket someday um, for right now. So later on down the road, we may choose to buy one. But right now we decided, you know, fixing the house and refinancing it is priority. So after lots of talking about it and lots of praying, we decided that we would list it and see if it sold. We will miss having a little John Deere tractor on the property. What does Dave say, honey? You live like no one else. Later you can live and give like no one else. And if we drive and mow our fields like no one else right now, then later on we can drive and mow our fields like no one else. Or like everybody else, I suppose. What are you doing? You're digging? Is your dump truck working? Yeah. It's doing a good job. So, coolest thing. Uh, people. Your smile's so big, it's cute. <laughs> the, the family that came over to look at the tractor to buy it, they're gonna buy it, but they're probably gonna get it next week. Um, turns out they're neighbors, they live three minutes down the road. They live just over the hill, right there. And there's this lake right here Two, two houses over from us, I've been dying to fish and take Toby fish in there, a little private lake. And turns out the guy who just came over to buy the tractor, he has permission to fish this property and he's good friends with the person who rents the property who owns the lake. He sent a quick little texty dude on and said, hey, are you home? I wanna come fish with uh, this guy I just met. And he said, yeah, come on over. So we're going fishing tonight in that private lake. That you've been dying since right we there. moved here. Yeah. And I'm taking Toby. He's gonna catch his first fish on the private lake. That's right there. <laughs> you wanna go fishing tonight with Daddy? Yeah. Right over there at that lake? Yeah. Yeah, does that sound with fun? With Tim. Huh? With Tim. Yeah, with him? Yeah. yeah. All right, so this was uh, way cheaper to buy it in the kit. It was on sale for a 4th of July sale. We were gonna buy everything separate, but it came as a kit for the Rubbermaid Fast Track Closet System. So, so we're opening it up now. We're gonna install it in Toby's closet. Ooh. I am oh, so excited to organize everything. If you guys know me, you'll know I like everything to what, honey? Everything have a place and be organized. Yeah. Was that right? Yep. Nice. And this has been driving me nuts because there's no point in organizing it because he's two and a half. He's gonna go through and tear everything up anyway. This was a way better deal mine like this. What? While Jared works on the closets, I'm gonna go around the windows with this great stuff. If you guys haven't used this before, it's super, super nice. It fills cracks nice and tight. So I'm gonna go ahead and go around all the windows with the window and door filler so that it can be drying and by time we are ready to put the trim on, it'll be nice and dry. going to be super cool that we can adjust all the shelves as the boys grow and as needs change rather than using the screw in the stud and screw in the wall kind of stuff um, this will be completely customizable for years to come thank you and can you go grab that little white shelf for me please can you even carry that? Oh, you sure can. You're so tough. The kit came with these angled brackets and smaller shelves so that you can put shoes on it. Hey, Daddy. 
Oh, wow. Thanks, bud. Thank so, you. this kit came with everything by Rubbermaid, but we're not going to use these hanging rods. We might use them for swords or something. Because hangers fit perfectly in these little squares. And so, we're just going to use those. I'm sure holes. when I go to organize the closet and put things away, I'll definitely organize and uh, move the shelves all around depending on what I want to put up there. But I love like how specific it is. Like, it's not just. You open the closet and there's one shelf with a rod or something. Like, this is awesome, guys. I love it. And to still be able to have a section for totes for all that baby equipment. So, if you know anything about us, we are quality folks. <laughs> and by that, I mean we like quality stuff. Rubbermaid. Pure metal. Solid. As long as you screw them into studs. They still have... Uh, the drywall screws and everything you need for attaching it if you don't have a stud, which we did on the center one. It's not as sturdy, but it's still pretty solid. So, rubber made you did a good job. This is great. My wife's gonna have fun organizing now. This is seriously an organizer's dream. And now I want them in like every closet, in the whole shop, everywhere. I want them in there. All right, just measured, cut the trim, for the casings of the windows. Gonna put some uh, liquid nails down, then finish nails in place. See how she looks. Here we go. Casings are all done. Now time to add the window trim. Hey, nice uh, new table. I love it. How do you like it compared to the other one? Oh, cuts like butter. crazy but I just got permission to fish on this lake with Toby. We're gonna try to catch his first fish. Toby, say fish on! He's home. Is he a big one? Yeah. Oh yeah, give him a kiss. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hey, was that fun? Tell me, say, fish on! Fish on! Fish on! Yeah! Yeah! All right, well, that felt pretty good to get back to work. We are super excited about how everything turned out. Yep, not as much progress as we wanted, but we kind of knew it was going to be that way. We love the closet, love the closet, and I cannot wait to organize it. Like, that's that's coming soon. And the trim looks great, and we went and got some more stuff so that we can trim out the kitchen window and get started on that. I'll be sure to put a link in the description box below for <laughs> the materials that we used this week. Uh, as far as that filler for the cracks, that's awesome stuff. And then this super awesome closet over here. Oof, so you guys are going to want to do one for yourself. But we're back at it. Today we made a game plan. Week by week, we know what's going down, and we're ready for it. Trying to get it done by hunting season. Yep. We'll see what happens. Yeah. So stay tuned, guys. Join us next week, and thank you so much for watching. Thanks for watching, folks.